A bold medical decision made by one of the most famous actresses in the world is reminding people of the very difficult choices thousands of women are faced with. Oscar winner Angelina Jolie had her breasts removed to greatly reduce her chances of getting cancer. The 37-year-old underwent a preventative double mastectomy. Jolie says she made the decision after finding out she has a gene that makes her vulnerable to breast cancer and ovarian cancer. Joining us now is Dr. Myra Barganier, a breast medical oncologist at the Cancer Institute of North Shore LIJ Health Systems. Doctor, thanks for joining us this My morning. My pleasure. Thank you for I, having me. I think a lot of people were really stunned when they heard about this op-ed piece in the paper Certainly. and what uh, Angelina Jolie had done. But how common is this procedure? How often do women choose a preventative mastectomy? Well, we have to remember it's in the context of testing positive for the BRCA or the breast cancer associated genes. Right. So in that context it's, uh, context, it's not really that uncommon, but the gene itself is very, very rare. We must remember that breast cancer really is very common in women that have a family history of breast cancer, mm. but also up to 90% of breast cancer we call sporadic, meaning we don't really know what causes the breast cancer. Okay. And then the other 10% is usually genetic reasons. Of that 10%, only half is caused by the BRCA gene. Okay. So BRCA or breast cancer associated genes one and two. So it's not very common, mm. but when diagnosed, it's uh, very, very serious and uh, women are at significant risk of developing breast and or ovarian cancer. So let's talk about these BRCA genes, BRCA1 and BRCA2. What do we know about them? What do they do? So these are genes, they're actually tumor suppressor genes and we all have them and they're actually good genes if you will because they maintain our genomic, our DNA stability. So they're good genes. Mm -hmm. They're on different chromosomes but when these genes are mutated they actually increase the risk or cause one to be highly susceptible to breast cancer and ovarian cancer in women mm -hmm. and men breast cancer also prostate cancer and believe it or not one is also at risk for other cancers such as pancreatic cancer so there's huge implications with the mutation in these tumor suppressor genes that are normally right. good genes. Yeah, I had no idea that men could also have these two genes. Yes, they are. And you know, it's, it's interesting. I was reading the article this morning and I think one thing that I took from the article, I thought to myself, this is what a wonderful opportunity for men and women to actually sit down and talk about their family history and to, and to ask, what it, has anyone in the family um, had pancreatic cancer right. or has dad or an uncle had uh, breast cancer? Because it, breast cancer in men is extremely rare, mm -hmm. but a, a huge red flag that one should seek medical attention and genetic counseling to see if there is a possibility to t um, for testing. Right. Now, you know, with this story, uh, men and women, I guess, are, are going to be running to their doctors to find out do they have this gene. Um, mm -hmm. If you find out that you do have the gene, is that it? I mean, is it? Let's start talking about what sort of surgery we can undergo to prevent this? Uh, yeah, more or less, yes. Mm -hmm. um, before we get to that step, though, there are, there are clear indications. There's national guidelines, so not everyone should run to the doctor and say, sign me up for the test. Okay. Because again, we have to keep this in context. and, and really Really, to, to have the te to have the gene to have the mutated gene is really the exception it's not the rule okay. so there's check marks if you will or there's a certain indication that a physician or a genetic counselor will go over with a man or a woman to mm -hmm. see if there are risk mm -hmm. now if they are at risk then they're tested so are we talking usually a family history that's one of the big in indicators? Family history okay. is, is one of the biggest indications, yes. Mm -hmm. Or you yourself could have a history of breast cancer and have first degree relatives. First degree relatives is your siblings or your mother, father. A strong family history like that is also. So if you go down the checklist, check, 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 you get the test, you have this gene, is and your woman double mastectomy is that your only option it's not your only option it's definitely definitely the most preventive option mm -hmm. so we also have to keep in mind that if one is tested positive for the mutation the risk of breast cancer is as high as 85 to 90 percent right that is not insignificant that's an enormous risk factor of breast cancer so yes there's things we can do the most extreme thing that one can do is have a bilateral mastectomy removing both breasts mm -hmm. and that's usually coupled with immediate reconstruction, rebuilding of the breast. Mm -hmm. So the uh, rule of thumb, be vigilant, not just if you have a family history, but everyone should be vigilant about this sort of thing. Right. You don't want to mess with cancer, right? Right. Dr. Myra, uh, Myra Barganier, thank you very much for uh, coming in today. Thank you, my pleasure.